Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now there are many different cropping patterns also which are followed in India. Now not only India, if you, I mean I am currently talking about India because I, did, I have taken India as an example, but then everywhere based on the climatic conditions crops are being grown. That's because different crops need different climate. So if we talk about India, here also we have different seasons. So if we talk about India, it has so many different seasons. For example, during the months of April to June, April, May, June, it is hot summer when there is too much of sunlight and it is very hot. Whereas this again is followed by monsoon, where, which we often call as rainy season when a lot of too much of rain takes place and this weather lasts from around July, September. So that is the time when we have monsoon. This monsoon in turn is again followed by winter and the period between monsoon and winter is autumn. That is kind of the, the period after summer and before winter. That period where when monsoon also takes place that is called autumn and it lasts almost till December and then comes the winter season. So winter starts from December and then again it lasts till March and again from April the summer season comes in. So that's how you have the weather, like initially you'll have summer from April to June, then you'll have rainy season or monsoon, whatever you call it, and then again you'll have winter season and again winter will be followed by summer season. And this period between summer and winter, you have autumn. Now here, not all the time you have rain, but autumn includes some uh, months of rain. So that's how the season changes. Now as I said that there are crops which have different climatic requirements. Some plants grow well in some seasons. Therefore the productivity of some plants are more in some particular season. So if you take example, let us suppose plants like maize, soya bean, sugar cane, they need more water for their cultivation. Whereas plants like rice, potato, they need less water. So these are examples. For example, if you take example of rice, potato, so these type of plants, they need less water. Whereas if you take examples of maize or sugarcane, so these plants need more water. So the requirements of water, the requirement of sunlight, everything varies from plant to plant. So if there are plants which need more water, so it is better to grow them in rainy season because in rainy season they will get more water. If there are plants which need less water but they need more sunlight, so it is better to grow them during summer season. So depending upon the requirement of the crops, they should be grown during uh, different seasons. Similarly, mostly green plants need sunlight because they perform photosynthesis in presence of sunlight. Again, some vegetables and pulses, for them the suitable season is summer season when there is too much of light, not a, lot, not a lot of rain, so that kind of climate is more suitable. So here you can see that you have crops like this maize, here you can see maize, soya bean, sugar cane. So these are some of the plants which need more water. So that means it will be a wise decision to grow these type of plants during rainy season because there the water availability is more. On the other hand, if you take examples of plants like this, for example, gram, wheat or pea, for example, here this is wheat, this is pea, this is gram. So for these type of plants, they need less water. So maybe for such plants, what can be done is they can be grown during a season when there is less water. So depending upon the requirement of the plants, they can be grown in different season. Now based upon these cropping patterns, these different cropping patterns, there are two types or two categories of crops. One is called Kharif crops, the other is called Rabi crops. So the first type that is Kharif crops, these crops are grown in rainy season. 
So rainy season, lot of rain, that is lot of water. So the plants which need more water, for example, soya bean, sugar cane, maize, these are the examples of plants which need more water. Therefore, they are grown in rainy season and they are called kharif crops. The second category of crops are rabi crops. These rabi crops are those which are grown in winter season because they need less water. They do not want more water. But at the same time, they do not want too much of sunlight as well. Because you might say that, okay, if they do not want, if they want less water, they could have been grown in summer season as well. But in summer season, the weather is too hot. So not all plants favor so much of hot climate. So these plants do not want a lot of water but at the same time they do not want a very hot climate. So therefore these plants like wheat, gram and pea, they are grown during winter season and they are called rabi crops. However, there are some plants like mostly the vegetables and the pulses which are also grown in summer season. So normally these kharif crops they are grown during this period from June to September. So this is the period between summer season and winter season, whereas the rabi crops are grown somewhere around November to March. So peak winter starts from December, but then again November also the weather becomes quite cold. So November to March is suitable for the rabi crops. So now the question is, we got to know that okay, agriculture is very important, cultivation is also equally important. The question is, who cultivates the crops for the entire population because very few of us grow our crops ourselves. So now when each of us do not take this responsibility of cultivating our own crops, then who is doing this for us? Yes, the farmers are doing this excellent job for all of us. So the farmers, they take a lot of pain to cultivate the crops on a commercial scale to meet the demand of the entire human population. Now, they have to follow a lot of techniques so that they can increase the crop productivity to meet the needs of the increasing population. They need to ensure that the crops which are being produced, they do not contain any sort of contamination by insects or pests. So they have to ensure a proper, proper and a perfect cultivation of crop. So here now we are going to see what exactly or how exactly the farmers, they follow special techniques to ensure better crop productivity. Now I'm sure when you would have visited the village in your last vacation, you would have seen the farmers there on the green vast fields, either pulling or uh, pulling the, either on their tractors or plowing or planting trees or maybe sowing seeds. So doing one of these activities, you would have definitely seen them on their fields. They use various tools to shape the soil, to control insects, pests or weeds to clear the soil, to mix various stuffs together, to create manures and fertilizers. So you would have seen them doing any of these activities on the field. So now we are going to talk about the agricultural practices. So what are the various practices that should be followed for crop production? So these are the various tasks performed by a farmer for crop production. Now crop production isn't that simple as the name looks to be. It is not about just growing one plant or it is not just about growing 10 plants or 20 plants. It is about growing thousands of plants on a big field. So we need to ensure a lot of things. We need to ensure that when we are putting in so much of effort to plant those crops so we have to ensure that the productivity is also good because if the productivity is not good our entire effort for the entire year goes to a waste so there are several tasks which are to be performed in a particular sequence for better crop production so what are the various agricultural practices preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting storage so these are some of the agricultural practices followed by farmers. So now what we are going to do is we are going to talk about each of these practices in detail. That what happens under each practice. For example, the first one is going to be preparation of soil. Thank you. 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.